Hi, my name is Dex and today we're looking into how actually you can manage different pricing levels for different customers or different group of customers in SQL accounting. So first thing that you need to do is how to create different groups of pricing. So to do this, all you just need to do is come to stock here, come to stock price tag here. Okay. So from here, right now, if you see in my example, we have things like dealer, end user and reseller. Okay. So let's say example, we close this. So second thing that you need to do is of course setting the pricing levels per item. Okay, to do this, you need to come to stock, maintain stock item. Okay, let's say example, we take item B, all right? So let's edit this. And then from here, you can see we have one thing called customer pricing, all right? So let's say our reference price is always at 20 ringgit. So let's say we want to change different pricing from here. So now I already select here, I have a dealer. What happens if they buy one unit? What is the unit price? So let's say example, you want to reflect it as a fixed amount. So you can put here, say example, 19 ringgit. If not, you can actually put here 20 ringgit. And then here, you want to put a discount. You can even put a 10% discount like this. Then it will reflect as 20 ringgit less 10%. All right. So depending on how you want to present it. All right. So let's say example, we're going to keep this like that. We can even set things like date range. So say example, when we want to set the date from and date to all right so of course apart from this there are other features such as like if for a dealer you want to do things like bulk pricing so you can come here to dealer so let's say example they buy 10 units then here will be 20 ringgit less 10 percent plus another five percent if you want to give it this way all right so we can actually set different different groups of pricing for different quantity purchase all right of course the other options that you can actually do is instead of setting a price tag special customers can even have special pricing so let's say example uh, star trading we want to give for everyone you need to buy it is a special price because it's a friend so you said 15 ringgit okay we can actually set it this way all right so once we're done we just press save okay so now we already create a price tag so how are we going to create your customer to be in that particular price tag so let's say come back here Press customer, maintain customer. Let's say example we tag tax. Okay, so you can see now my price tag is default. We just edit here. Come here to price tag. So here you can see I set this as dealer. Alright, so done. We just press save. Okay, so now let's say example we want to create a new invoice. Sales, we come to invoice. We press new. Then say example now we put tax okay so let's say example now we select the same item say item b sure you can see the thing is 20 plus 10 percent discount all right so once you're done you just press save to generate the invoice all right so that's all for today we hope that you actually can find this very helpful for your business and if you need any other guides do let us know and we will release it every week thank you